Tomorrow we got a full NBA slate. Uh, we're going to start off with this pick here. We're going to take Lakers versus Jazz. Lakers is favored at minus one and a half. We're going to take that as a one-star play. Uh, Lakers started off the season real rough. They had a little couple off-season things, you know, controversy going on. Not nothing too crazy, but it was talking about how Russ, Russ and his turnovers. And it basically was it basically was a down Russ story, you know. But lately, Darvin Ham, he figured out a way to work Russ into the uh, six-man role, come off the bench. He come with the second unit. He could do what he want, handle the ball how he want to do it. Um, his turnovers are still high, but he's shooting a better percentage, actually. And it's just working out better for the chemistry of the team. Um, Lakers come off a win over the Pelicans in overtime. Real good, real good win for them. They was up 17 at one point, so they could have really just secured the game earlier, but they still figured out a way to get it done. A couple things went their way in the end of the game. Jazz, on the other hand, supposed to be tanking. I don't know what they're doing, but they, they playing, they're playing pretty good. But I just think the Lakers got their number here. Lakers, I'm riding the momentum, man. Lakers got the chemistry right now. It seems like it's clicking. They should be able to get it done with LeBron, AD, and, and uh, Russ. Minus one and a half against the Jazz that, you know, doing roster reconstruction, man. Come on, let's be serious, man. That's a one-star play. Go play that.